Well, I popped out for a few hours on this day today. The sun's due out a little bit later. Had a walk around late yesterday afternoon. There's about 15 or so, 16 fish down here. So I'll sprinkle a little bit of bait out. Hopefully I'll still be here after the night. Still working bits and bobs out about this lake. You know, for all I know, the fish might just come here and sun themselves. They might not even feed in this area. It's just something I've got to find out as uh, as time progresses on the lake. It's all about uh, observation and information, and uh, being on the being on the water to actually uh, understand and pick up this information. Nice little bay down there. Let's have a little bit of a play down there. Uh, spring and rise a little bit more but no we're uh, so we're, we're, we're quietly confident that the fish should be in this area no reason why they won't be in this area in fact I think I doubt you'll be able to see it there's a few little ripples moving off the side of that weed bed out there not very good in this light there's definitely something moving around just noticed that uh, had a bit of a liner on the rod, so the fish are clearly sort of out and about. I'm fishing very slack lines, so I don't want to sort of spook them or anything, basically. It means I'll have to be fairly uh, quick on the off if I get a take, because uh, they've had quite a bit of line. I just think these weed beds are pretty, uh, pretty okay this time of the year. But we'll just have to see. I don't know, that's all we can do. I've just put a couple of bags out filled with uh, almost the mixture I was using last weekend of crushed up hemp and pellets. Put some pellets and boilies out last night. I've scattered a few boilies over the area just to try and sort of hold the fish there a little bit more. And uh, yeah, it's uh, fingers crossed and we'll just have to see really. It's supposed to be a bit of sunshine today, so see the water temperature's obviously warmed up. I saw plenty of fish yesterday, so they're clearly moving around. Let's just hope they haven't fed themselves full all night. It'd be funny, wouldn't it? Anyway, I shall give you some updates as we go. And uh, fingers crossed. Hopefully that uh, our rods will uh, scream off sometime soon. Well, what can I say? It's been a grey, overcast day. Loads of drizzle and rain. And after going up and standing on that bit of the tree there, I discovered that most of the carp are on the surface. Now, we're going to have come pretty light tackled. I haven't got the capabilities of any floater equipment or even been able to put a zig on surprised me there's previous times when I've been out down here and it's been overcast and grey they've not been on the top but they certainly are today little monkeys but it's all about learning it's all about understanding all we can do take away something from a blank session turn it into a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a positive learn something so we'll just step forward and fish and learning something I can't really show you with any of the fish where the light goes you can actually see them but you won't really get to see them unless they any signs themselves unless they're not doing but they're sort of see the reflection line the light reflection line on the grass in the field they're all sort of along that line and a little bit into that corner and they have sort of like moved past and there were rods as well so they're fairly active just not going down to feed Maybe I overfed them last night, that'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? By my own doings, 
They're uh, having a bit of a rest up before they uh, come back to eat again. <laughs> well, I'll have gone home. There we go. Uh, that would be ironic, wouldn't it? But it's interesting. So I shall be uh, sorting out some floater tackle, sorting out a floater rod, sorting out uh, some zigs and things, to see if I can fish sort of six inches under the surface. See how we get on. What I do need to do is I need to get lead around and find some harder spots other than the sort of like ones in the edge that I know about. Um, sort out where the silt is. Because there's going to be plenty of leaf matter in this lake, isn't there? You can see the surroundings. So I think my next uh, walking round trip will involve uh, a bit of that as well. So, I shall leave you with those thoughts. It's time to get the rods on the ground. And um, head home, really, I think. No shortage of fish down this end. Just that it's clearly sitting on the top, relaxing and chilling out. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Good luck if you're out on the bank. And uh, catch up with you soon, I would say. Well, I've come back for the night of my totally rubbish day session. I put some bait out before I left, led it around, definitely fishing clear spots. So, we shall see. All bivvied up. Got the mozzie thing on, because mozzies absolutely love me. Uh, hopefully, I've got the baits in the same spot as before. I have I have number two daughter with me, and mummy's going to come and collect her. Let's see how we get on. Just seen a fish just crash out over there, which is quite funny, isn't it? It'd be funny if they are feeding that part of the lake, but it's good to watch, good to observe, as I said it before. It's all about that. Listening out and wondering where the fish are. I have seen fish here. I must admit, still, I did check before I set up. There are a few fish still mooching around. Can't see why they won't feed in those spots at night. It's all a learning curve, so I'm gonna give it a go. Gotta try. Obviously if they don't, we'll just try other swims and out in the main lake. See how we get on really. But as I said, there's obviously fish just mooching around in the weed at the moment. So I don't think they're far away. And uh, should all be uh, all good, all set up, ready to go. Here's hoping. Must admit it's quite good on this lake. They provide the uh, waist slings and landing nets and everything so you don't have to bring your own. Which is good. Let's stuff the cart around. Definitely the way forward. Anyway. Fingers crossed there's some fish in the night. If not, I'll just have to uh, think again. Keep thinking. So we track everything all down. Well folks, I'm about out on the estate lake again for a few hours today. Um, I spent most of yesterday afternoon sorting out my floater tactics for today. And um, what I probably should have done is check the forecast first. Or I'm convinced it's changed because it's an absolute, would you believe, cold because it's down to 7 degrees. 
grey day at the moment. I've seen it. One clear fish sign when I pulled in the car park. The fish topped down down the right end down there again. So I've sort of set up a slightly different area. Still got a bait up there. Put a bait out around the island, which is one of the routes I think they use to go round to get from the main part of the lake into this bay. Really I have to keep an eye on one up there to see if any fish appear on the surface at all. And also down the main lake, see if I'm missing anything down there. At the moment I've seen zero signs of anything down there at the moment. Just sort of keeping an eye on the weed and the stuff down there. Just have to see how we get on really. I can't know what's going on with settings, it's gone all dark. It's sort of better but not really. Strange camera. Sorry about that one, don't know what happened there. I've done some updates on my phone, so that's what I generally do all my videoing on. Um, yeah, there's a couple of Canadian geese mooching around, so I've got to be careful. I thought I saw something show earlier, but I think it's the, uh, the goose diving in the water and creating a lot of ripples out the back of the island. Um, when I pulled in, there's one topped up here, which I clearly saw, so well, I've got to head up here. But, uh, yeah, interesting. Very interesting in the main part of the lake at the moment. So to see how we get on. I think what I've got to try and remember is, one, I'm fishing for sort of relatively virgin fish. And um, the tactics I use on the other two lakes I fish have been refined so much. I might just have to dig out a few... Uh, Pots of this, pots of that, cans of this, cans of that, that I wouldn't dream of using up there, but clearly it might well work up here. So, it's not really, I have to stand up, the legs are hurting. It's not really meant as a serious place to fish, it's just meant for me at somewhere to come down for a few hours, but I very much like to uh, crack the nut. As I'm doing it, I'm actually sort of writing about it as well, which I think will be quite interesting. You know, that give people a general idea of how easy it can be, or sometimes how hard it can be. So I think it'll be a good little feature to do. Just it's easy to easy to go the wrong direction. You should be going another direction. It'll make all the difference. But as I think I said in my last one, I'm gonna try and do. Uh, It'll be one day a week on here now. I won't be doing any nights for a while because I'll be uh, clocks change at the weekend, so it'll be airfield late during the week. I might slip the odd night in here because I think I need to. It's just nice and peaceful and quiet and less of a journey. Well, about 20 minutes. <laughs> and that's each way, so yeah, we shall see. Right, stop waffling crack on and uh, yeah so here we go I doubt you'll be able to see there's about six or seven carp in sort of corner area mooching about I've put out a fair few floaters yeah I'm actually now Got some chunks of bread out there, and uh, they're just enjoying the sunshine, not interested at all. So, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. This could be the times I'm fishing, this dictates when I catch or when I do catch, or maybe they just need to warm themselves up. I'm gonna walk for them with a tree long because you might even I can find one in a sensible place. I can zoom in a bit, but they're all uh along this bank here, nice little bit of shelter. No, I can't see any fish that I can really zoom in on for you. It's a bit of shame. Some bits of bread out there. I might be able to zoom in on for you. No, probably not. 
but uh, not very far away from the car and they're just motionless, stationary, just keeping warm as I said, so I think if I come away from this session with, with a blank, I won't really bother, I have a bit of flake sitting out there and amongst the fish before I put some out there, so there's just a little single bit, about f half an hour sat there on the surface. So you've no interest at all. Um, anything you sort of scatter out there near the fish, they just seem to sort of drop down and sink away. But you expect them to sort of come back and feed. But as I think I've seen none of this, uh, none of this good old slurping going on just yet. Just more of uh, you see about three or four swirls. I'm sort of uh, have a go at something, but no positive signs. Sorry, a bit close to the monk to be fair. A bit too much noise. Anyway, I've uh, put the other rod back out now. It's sacrificed a rod at the, at the island because it's on a single hook bait. Just dropped flicked out there. It's a completely floater rod away. And uh, put the rod back out again. A little bit of a mooch up and down, and I've got it sort of the base of that tree there, just a little bit off, about four foot deep. Hopefully, I've got it on the shelf. As I said, there's nothing really going on down there at all, just warming up and sunning themselves. So I think. Uh, See if I can organise a night soon. I've got a bait in between the weed over there towards that sort of tussock. And uh, that's about it really. We've got about an hour left now. So I'm going to tidy up a few things. I uh, look through the bins further on down the bottom of the lake, but can't really. Uh, no real action going on down there at all, I've been watching it most of the time. Who can complain? It's better than doing some work in it. Sitting out here. Absolutely lovely. A pleasant day out. I mean, the blue sky finally arrived and the, it's warmed up, the sun's come out. It's quite pleasant really. Anyway, float catch I think. Catch up with you soon, and uh, thanks for watching as always. Well, I'm out on the estate lake for a quick night, all tucked up in the bivvy. With the eldest looking nice, <laughs> that's what you need. Let me see what I've got to put up with the next 24 hours. But, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. I've never fished it when it's raining, so I'm actually hoping that the rain, fishing in the rain, will actually produce some fish. I've uh, chosen a slightly different area to what I've fished before, but I feel it's the area that the fish have been showing in and what I can work out. So you've got the bay to me to the left. And then over there you've got the car park where I fished before. I didn't produce anything out in front of me, but I heard lots of stuff to the right of me. So I've now gone to the right, and hopefully that should uh, be the answer to the question, which we'll just have to see. Anyway, I'll give you a bit more of an update later when it stopped raining. I've had my lunch, and we'll see how we get on, really.
It was steam boats. Oh my god, there's three of them. They're so cute. This one is just like patrolling the air, like, is it safe? Mm. And there's a pheasant over there going. <laughs> Well, I think we've got about 10-15 minutes left now before we start packing up, making probably a little bit too much noise for the fish to feed. The rain continued most of the day and into the night last night, did ease off. I was really hoping that I'd actually put the fish down, and I might want to start feeding through the early hours of this morning and into this morning, but uh, no such luck. It's just coming up to about 10 o'clock now, so I think we're more or less done really. She's the daughter from coughing. <laughs> She's thoroughly enjoyed herself. That was amazing. Plenty of sleep, plenty of daddy time, plenty of uh, playing on her phone. No puppy. And it's been very enjoyable. So hopefully we'll be back soon and we'll come and have another go, see how we get on, try a different area. But we'll be around for plenty of walks and plenty of observations the next couple of weeks to see if we can uh, work it out so I should be out for a, a day session in a couple of weeks time so all will be good anyway thank you for watching don't forget to uh, subscribe and comment and uh, head out to my website and uh, be back soon good luck if you're out there <laughs>